<laughs> okay, so at the beginning, just to remind you, I, I feel you may be confused about this scanner. This one. So scanner, again, you can consider it as a package. We use it to input, to input data from users. And this is available inside something called system.in. We will talk about what is in and out. But you, you may notice that we use print, we use system.out. In order to be able to use the scanner package to embed data from user, we have to do two steps. At the beginning, we have to import this Java scanner as a package to be inside our program and available to be used. Second, we define an object from scanner. And this object, you can call it whatever you want. You may find it as a slides with a different name. I prefer to call it S. You can call it SC, for example. It's an object name to be used after that. So it's up to you to use it anyway. So when you declare an object and previously you import this package, you are ready now to use this package for input. But before input, I will try to do some output. So if I would like to output a text to the user, again, I can use system dot what out dot print, right? And if I have a double quotation here and say hello, for example, so now, Whatever between the double quotation will appear to the user as it is. If I go and run that, I'm expecting to have hello as it is to the user. Right? And I say again, if I just put an X here, so the compiler does not expect me to have a variable called X and will not look for a variable or a value for X as long as you put this X between two double quotations. It will understand automatically that X means something, character, and just appear it the same as it is. And if I removed this double quotation and put only X without double quotation and try it now to run, the, pro the compiler will not allow me because as long as there's, there is no double quotation, the compiler expected that X is a variable and has a value somewhere in the program. He will take a look inside the program for this variable. I will not find it, right? So he said, this is an error. I don't understand X. What is X? Okay, so, and if I say hello, there's something here inside. <coughs> the print is plus. You can use plus anything like this. This plus is called concatenation. You can concat, you can merge two texts together. But we use it when we use it. We use it when, when we have a variable. For example, if I come here and define a variable like integer x equal 10. So now what I'm doing, if I get integer x equal 10, this is called variable declaration or variable initialization. Right? Initialization because I declare and put a value at the same time. So if I put x like this, now I can use this plus to concat both, to use the same print statement to output some text and variable at the same time. So if I run that, the output will be hello, as you see, and the 10. If you remember, we said from just few minutes that we have some special character to do some action inside the print statement, like new line and new tab, right? So for example, if we go here after hello and says slash t, what slash t is for? Slash t is doing some a tab, a tab. So if I run that, I will find, as you see, hello and this, some tabs, and then slash t doing only one tab. And there's another one, for example, slash n. What is the slash n for? To do a new line. So after hello, I will have a new line. So if I run that, I will have this hello, and then as a new line, the variable. So why could I use, why, why should I use this plus? I use this plus to merge two things.
things together. And most probably, I use it when I would like to print some text and some variable as the same print statement. And there is no need to remind you that I have another one called print ln, which make an automatic new line after executing this line. Okay? So this is what I would like to talk about at uh, uh, print. If you have any questions, please in print, how to format things in print. And before proceeding, why should I use print? I use print, print in two positions. The first position is if I would like to ask the user to input something, I just would like to tell him, please enter this thing. And the main purpose and the main function of the print is to output something to the user at the end of the program, to output the result of the program. Right? <coughs> okay, so now I'm proceeding to the variables. How many types of variables we talked about? We talked about three types. Integer, short, and long, which are the same class, accepting only integers, no decimals. Difference between these three or four types as a size allocated at memory. Short has a smaller size than integer than long. And we have float and double. The iPods can accept decimal values, decimal numbers, but different sizes. And we have character and string. Here now, we would like to know how to declare each type of them and how to input a user for each type. So if we start, for example, with integer x, how can I input a user from x? So here at this print, I will say, for example, please enter x. OK? So what is the type of x here? What is the type of x here? It's integer, right? OK? Are you following? So how can I input an integer value from the user? I'm going to use the scanner. So I'm just simply say that x equal scanner name that I define, which is sc here, dot next, next what? Next integer. And I will here just printing out the results. <coughs> Copy paste here, and here I will say the the results is and plus x. Is that okay? And I will do a new line here, for example. Okay? So, what happened here? I will ask the user to enter a value of x, and I will get this value and put it inside the value x. And as I know, x is an integer, so I use next integer function. And then an output the result to the user using a formatting here for the print statement, using the concatenation and the parameters. So when I run, it will tell me, please enter x. Okay, then, and I said enter, the print statement is, the result is, and I said here, a new line, then the value will appear. <coughs> for example, if I, if I change this one to short, that means you have to change next integer to next short, otherwise it's not accepted. If you change this one to long, long, so you have to change this one, for example, to next, next what? Next long, you'll find. Next, sorry, long. Okay? So whatever you have here, you should change here. So this is for integer, long and short. What happens if I remain as I am here, as next integer, and when I, the user asked me to enter, I said 2.4. Is that accepted? No, it's not accepted because I define it as a variable as integer. I'm not allowed to put a decimal value here. So if I would like to use decimal value, I have two options, either float or 
double, either float or double. If I use float x, I have to change this one to next float, right? And if I change this one to double, I have to change next to next what? Next double. It's as easy as it is. If I switch now to character, and here I will take a few minutes. If I define x as character, character x. At the beginning, character x, if just, I will, lie, I will remove this one, or commenting, you remember the comment? To ignore it. I declare a variable x as character, and I initialize it as 10. Is it accepted? No. Have something here. Yes, please. What is that backslash mean after the result? Is this one? This one? Oh, so slash n is used to just do a new line. And the plus is just to input, print something else, but this thing is not a text. So I'm using variables. Just So when you see this one, the output is the result is and waiting for a variable for that. So, I will declare x as a character, and I would like to input, to input, and, and condition here. Look at me here. I'm declaring x as a character, and I said, enter x, and here I said next, next what here? So, take a look here. In order to deal with character, I say next, and close the next, and then dot again and then character at and I put a number for example 2 <coughs> and here's tricky here so in order to accept character it's not easy as a previous next integer next float what should I do I say I see this one dot next then again dot character at 2 what's the meaning of 2 that means, please, take the character at position number 2 and put it at x. If I output x here, for example, he will tell me, enter x. I will, I will enter a string. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> what is the character at, at position number 2? <coughs> what is the character at position number 2 again? <coughs> Which L? This one or this one? The indexing in programming language and for Java as well is starting from 0, not 1. So the H at position number 0, E at number 1, the first L at number 2. So if I enter, it will tell me L. So how to accept a character again? I'm using a function dot next dot character at and I assign. I define where the position to get the character from. And it gave me only one, only one character. Any question here? Say it again. Okay. If we're switching from character here to string, if I'm using string, and string S is capital, if I'm using a string, so what I'm expecting X to have, a text, not only one character. So I have two options. These guys, here I have two options. The first option is to say only next, only next, no next nothing, next only. And what happened here, whatever I am entering will be accepted, <coughs> ended at the first space. What does that mean? So if I run here, we'll say me, I will say hello, then I make a space world. This is X is a string now. But as long as you use this next, X will accept only the first word and stop at the state and the space. So you will see X is hello only. Doesn't get world. In order to get the full text, what should I do? I shouldn't use next. But use next what? Another function called next line. So next line here, if I run again, and I said hello, 
word it with a space, it will get the whole word. So in summary, for character and a string, character, if I declare the variable as character, it only take only one character. No more. How can I get it from user? I said scanner dot next dot character add and I define a position. And I will get the character of this position. For a string, I have two options. Either next alone or next line. Next alone will get the first word up to the first space. And next line will get the, the whole statement I'm writing. Okay. Um, what else here? Uh, if you'd like to talk about the statements like x equal x plus equal something, or if I define this x here as integer, again, then I get, uh, it will be error here, so I have to change this one to next, dot next, integer, and I'm declaring float y, and I'm saying y plus equal x. What does that mean? Y plus equal x. That mean y equal x plus y. And there could be a problem here. What's the problem here? So this is a very important here. If you say y equal y plus equal x, this translated to y equal y plus x. But here at my program, y has no value, right? It, why he has any value? <coughs> if I try to run this program here, give me an error. Because he tried to execute the equation. We'll add what is inside x to y, but nothing inside y. <coughs> In order to avoid that, I will say y equal 20 here as initialization. So now, if I am running here, he will ask me to enter x. If I enter 10 for x, what is the value of y? Uh, sorry, here I'm, uh, I forget to put here y as an out. Y. So again, enter x. I put a 10. 10 will come to this x and will try to execute this statement y plus equal x. So y equal y plus x. y is 20 and x is 10. So the output of y should be. 30. Okay? And as you can see, it was like 30.0. Why point zero? Because you define y as float, not enter. Okay? So that's all I would like to say. I, I'm accepting any questions right now for that.